And now the FCC may say it is not trying to muzzle journalists, but members of the Energy and Commerce Committee are not buying it. Congresswoman Renee Elmers is on the committee. She joins us. Congresswoman, what do you make of this uh, study by the FCC to put people in newsrooms to monitor in their word, to spy in my word? Well, I ha there again, I have a lot of questions, as you do. Why is the FCC pursuing this study? What information are we go going to gain with it? And what will happen with the results in the end? You know, I, I just believe so strongly in the First Amendment. This is one more attempt by the Obama administration to trample on the Constitution. You know, I, for the life of me, I can't even figure, like, who is a, you know, it's, it's one thing for one person to come up with a really stupid idea, maybe the, the one person who's never heard of the First Amendment and the importance mm -hmm. of freedom of the press, and you find that one person. But something like this actually has to go through several layers before we ultimately get it out to, to a, a contractor. I mean, so there are a lot of people at the FCC, not this commissioner, but there are a lot of other people at the FCC who knew exactly what was happening with this and mm -hmm. looked the other way. Well, and, you know, to the point, uh, the commissioner that was on with you just a moment ago, if he hadn't put his op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. You know, the Energy and Commerce Committee, the Subcommittee on Communications and Technology, and Chairman Upton, we reached out with a letter to, to Chairman Wheeler on this issue. You know, this is a million dollars that they're paying for this study, and they're actually telling us that if, if there are changes that have to be made, it's going to, it's going to increase cost, so it's going to cost the taxpayers even more money. So not only are we infringing on Americans' rights as, as, a, as a country and the ability to free, for free speech, but we're actually making the taxpayers pay for it as well. All right, well, in a letter from the FCC, from the chairman to, uh, uh, to Chairman Upton, one of the justifications, or the justification for spending all this money to put people, to put spies, as I say, into newsrooms is that it says the Communications Act, Section 257, directs the commission to identify and eliminate market entry barriers for entrepreneurs and other small businesses in the provision and ownership of telecommunication services and information services. What in the world is the barrier in light of, we, in light of the fact that we now have the internet and any Anybody can put any video on, any information, it doesn't cost a dime, you just need to have access to a computer terminal. Well, exactly. This is a multimedia study, and they're saying that it's critical information needs. Now, you know, they're again, so subjective. What will the commission do with this information? How will they utilize it? And there again, it's, it's the commission that actually licenses broadcasting. So, you know, this is something that could be very potentially dangerous for America. This is just the Freedom, the, the freedom Doctrine 2.0, Fairness you know, Doctrine 2.0. I would expect that uh, that that no newsroom in this country would let uh, would let a government monitor into it. I can't, I can't my wildest dreams. I don't know any news organizations that would. But let me ask you: What are you going to do about it? What's your committee going to do about it? Even if you say no, I mean the fact is you've got an FCC that truly doesn't understand the purpose of freedom of the press, and that's very serious. Well, you pointed that out. Freedom of the press, so important. What, what news agency is going to be able to have free thinking in their newsroom if there's someone from that's doing this study in the newsroom listening? That, it's, it's just, you can see the influence what are you gonna that, do? that they're going to have. What we're going to do, we started with the letter to the chairman, and I'm sure we'll be having subcommittee hearings after this. This is a very important issue and one that the American people are going to need us to address. Oh, well, I hope you ask for some heads because it's n this is not just a little problem. I mean, this is this is apparently it's gone all through the FCC because I, I can't believe it's just one person. Not one person could just go out and hire someone and spend the money. But so not this was an idea that has gone all through different layers at the FCC. You have a very serious problem if you think that yes. the, not you, but if, if the FCC thinks that it can go marching into newsrooms and ask all these probing questions, it really doesn't understand freedom of the press. Absolutely. It's just the fairness doctrine all over again, and it's going to infringe on free speech.